Joining us again every Thursday at 6 p.m. throughout the high school football season is former ball coach Dan Coglin as he gives his thoughts and reaction to the action on area football fields. One week already in the books. We're starting to get ready now for week two, but let's rewind back to last Friday. Logan, a big victory on a 36-yard field goal as time expires. Yeah. That's not an easy saw thing that, to do at the high school level. At any level, but especially at the high school level. And that kid drilled that. I mean, he had he had he cleared the uprights by a good ten yards, so good for him. Especially in that, that situation. I mean, last play of the game, that's a huge pressure situation. So uh, everything's gotta go right. Snap's gotta be right, hold's gotta go right, gotta block for him. So good for those guys. Good way to kick yeah, the senior year very on excited. the senior on the team. Uh, anything that stood out to you looking at either the scores or trends in week one there? Um Arcadia played a, a, a tough team in Osceola and beat them, which was a, a good way to start out. The MVC was interesting. It was mixed. Some of the teams that were down last year won. Aquinas won. Um, Toma won. I mean, you can't really draw many conclusions from week one. Other, but if you had to start and draw a conclusion, you would say, geez, it's going to be an interesting year this year. Everybody looks like they're fairly even. Anything looking at week two now that... This is, for MVC teams, the final non-conference game. Yep. Um, what you really want to do on week two, week one, it's the big key is turnovers. I bet you if you looked at the teams that lost, they turned the ball over more than the opponents. And it's just so difficult in the two weeks preseason practice to, to duplicate that. You can try all you want, but you don't have everybody running 100 miles an hour at you. Uh, in week two, you really want to make some improvement. Your offense and defense... You really want to shake things out and really get your feet on the ground because the next week you're going to get into conference play and then it's going to be really important. 